Arceus V-Star from Brilliant Stars is one of the most flexible cards in the Pokemon trading card game and makes a great partner for a ton of different attackers. But what if Arceus V-Star doesn't actually need any partners? What if the best Arceus V-Star deck is just Arceus V-Star and maybe a support Pokemon like Inteleon. This new Arceus V-Star deck is all about Arceus and uses shady dealings to help support it because that ability is just completely broken. I'm excited to show off the list, but before we get to it, let's head on over to fullgripcodes.com. If you're looking to get all the best cards on your Pokemon trading card game online account, make sure to check out FullGripCodes.com. We've got all the best codes available for instant email delivery. We've got a loyalty program that rewards our most loyal shoppers as well. Thank you so much for shopping at Full Grip Codes. Shopping here at FullGripCodes.com directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Now, let's scope out that Arceus deck. This entire deck revolves around Arceus V-Star, making it as difficult as possible for the opponent to take knockouts with cards like Big Charm and Sharon's Care. Sharon's Care from Brilliant Stars is a fantastic addition to this Arceus V-Star deck. It's a supporter card that allows you to put one of your colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hand. So you can set up quickly and consistently with Arceus V-Star and its Trinity Nova attack, which does 200 damage and accelerates three basic energy from your deck to your Pokemon V in any way you like. Then when Arceus V-Star takes a hit, you can use Drizzile or Intellion's Shady Dealing's ability to go search out that Sharon's Care and make it so that your opponent doesn't take any knockouts. It really is a powerful combination. Combine that with the disruption of Path to the Peak, which completely turns off any Pokemon V's abilities, and you have a pretty gnarly deck to deal with on your hands. I really like this Arceus V-Star Intellion deck, but my favorite card in the deck is definitely Yveltal from Celebrations. Yveltal has the Cry of Destruction attack for two colorless energy. You get to discard up to three special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. This is great against Mew VMAX decks, especially combined with Marnie and Path to the Peak. If that feels like a big combination to pull off, it's really not thanks to Arceus V-Star's Starbirth ability. You can use Starbirth to go search out the Eveltal, the Double Turbo Energy, the Marnie, or the Paths to the Peak, whichever combo pieces you need to completely shut down your opponent's Mew VMAX deck. It really is a ton of fun. You'll have to see it in action to believe it. So check out this deck and let me know what you think of Arceus V-Star featuring Intellion in the comments below. Not a draw card in the opening hands, but it's fine. You know Charles got the drip in his deck with the full art, alt art, Genesex. Cramomatic away, Cramomatic. Then it's a heads. Going to be grabbing a battle VIP pass out of the deck most definitely. And with battle VIP pass can go get a couple of Mew, there it is, or Mew and another Genesect, yep, a couple of Mew, and then I imagine we're going to start to see some Fusion Strike system to draw through the deck, Quick Ball can find a third Genesect, very good, also thins the hand down, getting rid of Elisa's Sparkle. To do that, and it's another Genesect. Cool. So Charles will get to fill the hand to five, play the hand down, fill the hand to five or six. There's Battle VIP pass. Don't. It's going to be Meloetta. Yep. Now Charles can fill the hand to six. Fusion Strike Energy onto the Mew. And this is one of the reasons why I feel like in order to beat Mew, you have to play a deck that doesn't try to play Mew's game, right? Because, I mean, Charles will have drawn through almost 30 cards of the deck on the first turn of the game. cram Another heads, right? Almost 30 cards drawn on the first turn of the game without playing a supporter card. It's just almost impossible to beat Mew at the prize race, right? 
Charles' hand. And with the Rotom phone, Charles gets to, s to stack the deck with whatever he wants out of the top five cards. So a very powerful turn there from Charles. And at this point, like, how do you even start to play against a Mew VMAX deck that, you know, that's the first turn of the game, then the ball's in your court. You're like, okay, uh, I'm going to attach to my Arceus and use Trinity Charge, and then you're going to start blowing my stuff up, like, pronto. It's definitely a little intimidating, but it's fine. I'm going to quick ball away. Scoop up net. And just go get another Arceus. And then I can probably quick ball away this Ultra Ball too, because I don't really have the cards in hand to play it. And we can just get a Sobble. And then we'll use Trinity Charge. It's a pretty good turn for me. With the Arceus V-Star in hand, I can go and it's like I kind of know that one of these two is getting knocked out. <clears throat> With the Arceus V-Star in hand, you kind of know that I'm going to have the option to use Starbirth next turn because Mew doesn't play any Path to the Peak or anything like that. Why not get Yveltal? It's not really Yveltal time yet. Could be... But I feel like I need a little bit more in the in the way of consistency. Because I can use, you know, I could theoretically use my Starbirth to go get Yveltal, but I feel like my board position is very sparse. Yeah, you also don't want to just, like, offer that up for your opponent to knock out. You save the Yveltal for later. Now, it is a valid concern that there might not be a later, but also imagine this, you know, you're asking me, like, why not get Yveltal there? When I passed my turn, my opponent just had one Fusion Strike energy in play. They could have very easily just attached a basic Psychic, and then Yveltal would have been a bad promotion there, right? You see? So you're not going to want to, you know, with the option to either go one Sobble or one Yveltal there, you go the one Sobble because you're like, it's guaranteed going to be good next turn. Whereas the Eveltal could just be underwhelming. The question is, will Charles go as far as to gust up the benched Arceus with the three water energy on it? Two bosses orders already down. Probably not. Yeah, no. So here comes our fella. And we find the Evolution Incense off the top. So what I think I want to do is... Huh. All right, I'm going to use Evolution Incense to get the Drizzile. And then I want to evolve into my Arceus V-Star. We know that. I definitely want to use Marnie Path. Definitely. So we can use this to go get Marnie. I could, yeah. I'm going to use this to go get Marnie. So we're going to play that. And then, yeah, only having one, the limited Marnie counts in the deck is also a little sus because you're like very much depending on this working. And if it doesn't work, you're like, cool, I don't have another Marnie in my deck right now, which is quite bad. Now, that was actually a pretty nutty draw for me off of the Marnie. Like an obscene draw, really. Because now I can use my Star Birth, right? And we are going to grab the path. And don't tell me there's no switch. Ugh. Okay. It's fine. Path and the double turbo energy. And I can just retreat next to hmm? what's my hand look like so if I hard retreat this it's fine it's probably worth it but yeah that's fine no go back double turbo energy done okay 
It's fine. So we're going to retreat into the eval tool, path down, and yeah, cry of destruction. It's cool. That at least like slows them down a little bit. Forces and at least a sparkle forces them to take an odd prize as well. Last turn, all four Kramer medics down. Okay. Here's a basic psychic energy. And Elisa Sparkle, cool. I'm pretty sure that Charles needs a switch, right? Unless Melodious Echo was used last turn. Got the switch too. Do you also have the counter stadium, Charles? No, okay. So that's cool. Gonna go to three prizes. Fine. Let's send up Arceus. We've got Capacious Bucket, which we don't need it. So I'll attach here. I will Evolution Incense. Yeah, none of that really matters. This guy certainly doesn't matter because you like can't do it to Mew anyway. So we're gonna use Shady Dealings and go get a research, play it. Um, I guess my other Italian is not in the deck, but I guess over the course of a couple turns, I guess I could like, I could chip knock out the Meloetta over the course of a couple turns. So I guess that's probably fine. And we'll research. Okay, we did find the big charm, which is good. And this Arceus, which is good. And we're gonna start quick shooting. Shoom! <laughs> to the Meloetta. And then we'll use Trinity Nova, swing into the Mew. Yeah, there's only two water left in the deck. That's fine. It's just enough. Go on to this guy. And we're hoping that Charles did not find a stadium off of the prize. Quick ball away, battle VIP pass. Finds Mew. Fog Crystal, probably just thinning, I have to imagine. This seems like a, just trying to dig. Boss, okay, so this is sketchy, but in order for Charles to win, Charles does have to find one more boss's orders, right? And a V Max. I'm going to take this knockout. Um, I guess technically putting the Sobble down is a liability. Can evolution Incense, get this guy. Because Charles could have boss with Psychic Leap, right? So technically we don't want to make it that easy. And we're going to... Quick shooting. Here comes the airplane. Whoop. <laughs> Open wide. Here he comes. Whoop. <laughs> All right, cool. And then uh, I might as well, Melanie. fine we've got another path got an Arceus we benching the Arceus is fine because it's not any more of a liability than 
these guys. And then we're going to do our 180 damage. So if Charles doesn't have win here, then I have win. Because I can double quick shooting the Meloetta. And use boss's orders on a Genesect. Well, maybe not quite. All right, if Charles doesn't evolve this Mew, then I have win. I'm only doing 180 damage right now. A little bit short. So Charles is able to find a Mew VMAX. Does he have boss number four? No. Okay. So, it's a max miracle. No boss, no draw. So what I need to do is Shoom. Okay. I think, yeah, obviously we're going to boss a Genesect. Quick shooting. Take that knockout. Okay, go to two prizes left. Is that Intellion? We've got Arceus. We've got... At this point, boss wins them the game, so I think that it's fine to put down a Sobble. Check out all the cards in deck. None of that really matters. I've only got one double turbo energy in the deck. So we have to... We'll bench that. It's fine. And I have to boss... And bring up this guy. And then, all right, so what if they have a switch, right? What if what if Charles' last card in hand is a switch or an escape rope? There are two switch in the discard pile. There are no escape rope. So the last card could theoretically be an escape rope. And Charles only has got one prize left. So... If it is an escape rope, I'm going to say that there's a higher chance. Or what if it's double turbo energy? That could also retreat the Genesect. I'm going to say that it's a higher chance that it's an escape rope than a double turbo energy, right? So we're just going to Trinity Nova, say you ain't got it. I theoretically could have, like, because if it is an escape rope, I send up this. So there we go. All right, cool. So with two switch down, we wanted to not retreat because I could have retreated and stalled for a turn and then gone like research for the double turbo next turn with the quick shooting for win. But with two switch and no escape rope down, you're like, all right, if it is escape rope, we leave the big guy on the bench so that then we put the big guy up. All right, Charles is choosing to go second, which is quite intimidating. So I'm going to protect my Eveltal on the bench so that if Charles has like a crazy pop-off turn one, then I can immediately respond with a cry of destruction. So we're going to, yeah, put that guy down like that. And then I can... Ultra Ball for, I guess, an Arceus, though it feels really bad. It's fine. We're going to Ultra Ball away the Scoop Up Net and the Melanie. There's no way with this current hand that I'm going to be able to Melanie out of it, especially with no water there. So I'm just going to go get the Arceus and then just say, all right, next turn I'm doing some stuff. We'll level ball for Sobble and level ball for another Sobble and just research next turn and see a ton of cards and pop off. How's that sound? So we'll do that. 
And that's a pretty good turn one. Would be perfect if we had an energy to put on our Arceus, but it's fine. We'll live. Thank you, Just, for the Prime sub in the 18 months. We'll see how Charles does with the openings. Got a Fog Crystal. Can go get a Mew out of the deck. Or a Basic Energy. Yeah, looking like a Mew. Another Fog Crystal. Could find Energy. Now, the risk of choosing to go second is Mew VMAX is if you don't have the crazy pop-off turn one, then you run the risk of being a turn behind. However, in my experience, Mew has pretty much always got the crazy pop-off turn one, especially with Ultra Ball capable of thinning the hand down easier than ever. Fusion Strike system has become an absolute monster of an ability in the Pokemon TCG. Capable of drawing like 20 cards a turn. It's ridiculous. Fusion Strike System number two. Still looking for Switch, Elisa Sparkle, Fusion Strike Energy. There's the Switch. We'll bring up Mew. Nope. I was expecting Mew. But if Charles has already got everything in the hand for a turn one attack, I was expecting Mew because it's got free retreat and Charles still got more cards to draw, but... With the confident pr promotion of Meloetta, it feels like to me that uh, Charles already knows he's got it. Probably. Would be an awful thing to whiff the energy there. Nah, they got the energy. Okay. I was going to say to whiff the energy and you could have just promoted the Mew off of the Switch. That's a turn one, 210 damage. But the thing is, this is why this card needs to be here, right? Because if your opponent goes turn one, 210, you go, all right. Yeah, Charles really wanted the basic energy. That's what I was assuming, is that you really wanted a basic energy. You were holding on to the fusion energy like you could play it down, but you'd rather not. <laughs> and here we go, research. And we can guarantee the cry of destruction with the path now. So we'll go in Shady Dealing. I'm pretty sure I've already gotten rid of my Melanie, though. So that's like a little bit sus, but it's fine. It's worth it. It's worth it. Cool. So we'll do that. And then I can quick ball away this quick ball. And we can get another Arceus out. And we're going to use Starbirth. Just go get two, <laughs> two of these, dude. Because <laughs> I'm going to need them. Slaying the path down. Go there. And... Yeah, Cry Destruction, remove the three energy. Pew, pew. Pew. Cool. I have to imagine Charles probably has a counter stadium. Got to see a lot of cards. Turn one. Yeah, and that immediately comes down. Here's the training courts. The thing about Evil Tall is you can't really gust around it, right? As the Mew player... You have to deal with it. Because how does Charles attack this turn? If Charles wants to attack this turn, he could attach Psychic and use Elisa Sparkle for the second one. And then if you scape rope around it, I'm just going to send up, you know, a nobody. Or you could use double turbo energy. And if you use double turbo energy and don't knock out the Yveltal, then Yveltal is just going to come back up and discard the double turbo energy. So... The Veltal is insane. And makes it so that Charles took, you know, with three special energy, took a single prize. Um, Yeah. Took three special energy to take a single prize on a Sobble. Which is like a fine trade for me. I'll sacrifice a Sobble for 
three special energy. Yveltal's going to eat it now. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, the situation that I'm in, though, is that my Melanie is in the discard pile. And to discard that turn one, there's only one Melanie in the list. It's very tight. And because I'm a little bit on the back foot, all right, fine, switch. Because I'm a little bit on the back foot this game, I am just going to have to use Trinity Charge. That's why I got the two double turbo energy off of the Starbirth ability. Like, I know that my Arceus probably getting smacked this next turn. All right, so Charles is going to go to four prizes. What I could do is I could say, all right, we're going to promote a Sobble or something and just manually attach. I don't hate that. I don't, I don't hate that. I think that that's fine. Because we're going to attach here. Because the thing is, if I do just throw up... If I just throw up a... Uh, Alright, I definitely like need to find a path, though. Off of this. Charles got a lot of cards in that hand, so... If I just throw up a Arceus V, then we're probably just straight up losing because Charles just has knockout on board against it, right? So I have to, Marnie, have to hit a path. We find it with the big charm, which is insane to protect my energy investment. And then we say go. I can Evolution Incense, and, well, I should probably save that. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it for that next turn. That's fine. I was thinking I could get one to evolve. It's cool. We'll just wait till next turn. End turn. And then... Has the Counter Stadium... Dang it. Cramomatic. Need a tails. It's a heads. Okay. If Charles is able to gust up this Arceus and do 310 damage to it, I am... No way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. It's not good, bro. That's like a nightmare situation. To Marnie path your opponent, and then they hit double Cramomatic with the stadium, triple Cramomatic. Oh my god. It's so bad, bro. It's <laughs> so bad, like <laughs> It just, it feels so bad. You just know you're getting absolutely sauced. No amount of path to the peak. Nothing is stopping them. All right, thankfully my one with the energy is protected. But I do not have a... At this point, Charles' hand is probably just bazoingas, right? It's probably insane. Because I doubt that Charles had to use all those cards that he got. And he's only got six cards left in deck. So there's no even real hand disruption technique that can work against that. Nothing. So at this point, you pretty much just cry. Thank you, Peter, for the sub in the 14th. 14 months. Yeah, there's nothing really to be done here. It's not good. Shady dealer. Yeah. There's boss. Yeah, there's no disruption supporter in that deck. 
bunch of water energy though. Yeah. That's cool. And training do I not have any water energy in my discard pile? I suppose not. It's cool. We'll use the shady dealer. And uh yeah, I'm gonna go get Evolution Incense and the Capacious Bucket. Evolution Incense, we'll get this guy. Capacious Buckets. Get these fellas. And it does feel like I'm with an eight card hand, I have to imagine, and Charles hitting literally three, I have to imagine Charles has everything that he needs, but, you know, we'll make him do it. Three hundred and ten damage for the knockout. I've got no way to disrupt. Feels tough. That's cool. We can go to game three. And I think I can choose to go first. I don't know. Choosing to go first is cool and all. If you get an energy drop and start an Arceus, I think Charles just playing the methodical game, which makes sense. Got Sharon's Care, but the problem is I can't really put the guy back down or else I might lose. How many power tablets? One? Only one power tablet? You've got to be joking. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Three boss down? Thank you, Kevin. Did not notice that. You think Charles plays another boss? Potentially not. Maybe we got him. Probably not a fourth boss. Okay. So, what you're saying is... But I can't... Hmm... Yeah, should have benched this last turn then. That's fine. All right, well, we'll get to see if Charles has a boss or not. No point in benching the other Arceus, because if I get gusted, I lose. My only win condition is that Charles does not have a gust. But I did not count last turn. Okay. Pass. I didn't count the bosses in the discard last turn so an escape rope like could also win but I guess that doesn't really matter power tablet can't go back into the deck alright with the boss okay so Charles does play four boss good to know and that's going to be GG's so I did make the right call by not benching the previous turn. Uh-huh. Okay. GG's Charles. I think... 
I think I'm going to choose to go first in game three with this particular list, but we'll see. See, this opening hand does not have an Arceus in it yet. The eighth card is an Arceus. It is not. Okay. But we got level ball. Go get another Sobble. And I will attach. the energy and pass. And we'll see what Charles does. Escape rope, it's fine. Hoping that the hand is just ugly and jammed, but that does not appear to be the case. Battle VIP pass, two more Genesect. Chooks! Ultra Ball. Okay. Another Mew. Fog Crystal. Go get the Meloetta. Perfect board state. Okay, basic Psychic. It's fine. Fusion Strike System. I got Meloetta now. Can Fusion Strike System for a few more? There's Rose Tower. Cool. I do like to see that. Helps me. But with no Arceus down turn one. Going to be having a tough time, especially if Charles is able to take a knockout. Just really advances Charles' position in this game. All right, getting rid of Power Tablet, Fog Crystal, finds the Mu V Max. You know, may go for a safe play this game, just an energy mix. That would be sick. Yeah, it's energy mix. Okay. Cool. It's got one fusion strike energy over here. So find level ball. That's all fine and good. We got level ball. Get Drizzile. Drizzile. Shady dealings. Yeah. Get quick ball. Quick ball away the water. Get the Arceus. Arceus down. Double turbo energy. And What else do we even want? We want another Arceus. So what we can do is Evolution Incense, Drizzile. Drizzile here. Yeah, get Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net, that. Send you up, put you down. Rose Tower, cool man, it's fine, go here. Yeah, and uh, I mean like I do really wanna get a path, but if I miss, yeah, I'm just gonna be greedy. At this point, I feel like I kinda have to be greedy in order to win the game. I'm saying I'm going to find another Arceus. We definitely just lose if I don't, but yeah, we're fine. 
Okay, put that down. Put that down. And Trinity Charge. And accelerate some energy into play. Definitely going to need the paths to stick this game, at least like once at some point. Or else we're going to be having a bad time. All right, power tablets and maybe just a knockout. Yes, okay, so the path did stick. Knocks out the Arceus. What's cool is with this water energy randomly here, now I can, like, theoretically attack with Intellion at some point in the match. Nice top deck of Ultra Ball. So... Let's see, I have one water energy in the discard pile. I can use Intellion here to go get, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's go get Melanie. We just wanna grow the hand. Melanie and like Quick Ball. Get those guys. Quick ball away the Marnie and go get Arceus and will Melanie to the benched Arceus V. Find an evolution incense, which is easier to play than. I could also start targeting down that Meloetta now, but then if Charles puts a Fusion Strike energy on it, it just stops. So it's probably not worth it. Got a double turbo energy, which we can place. Can... Yeah, let's scoop up net this guy. Don't need him up anymore. And then we can shady dealings, just evolve this up. Let me see what the quick shooter situation is in the deck. I do have big charms as well. Probably just want to get a big charm out. Make the guy as tough as possible to knock out. Evolution incense, go get the Arceus V-Star. Arceus V-Star, save everything else in the hands. Big Charm. Yeah, everything else is cool. I'm going to do our 200 damage. Don't really need to accelerate any other energy into play, which is cool because I don't have any. So that's fine. And basically, what this deck aims to do is kind of like hope that they don't find the counter stadium and like heal a bunch. But the thing is, you need like a little bit of extra something to make it so that they don't find the counter stadium, I feel like. Because all they need is a turn or two without, you know, a turn or two with their abilities and they can just overtake the entire game. So it's, it's rough. Definitely. Another Kramomatic. Last game he flipped four heads. So it's nice to see that even and out. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I do think Oleana is cool because it can just, you know, nix the one card. And... You can play it defensively, like when your opponent takes prizes and stuff. Oh, for three, baby. 
Let's go. Now, if I had to guess, Charles, prob the, the play that typically happens here is like this Arceus gets gusted and knocked out, right? Because in order to set up new Arceus, it's like way easier to knock out these than it is to knock out this. So as we see, that's exactly what's happening here. Which is tough. And if I bench another Arceus V at this point, I run the risk of losing the game. So can I realistically... Oh, it's only 140? What the heck? Didn't have the power tablet. Oh, what? You missed all... So you would have only done 210? Okay, sick. Dang, so Charles actually missed the power tablet and has to just soften up the Arceus doing 140 damage with Max Miracle. That's crazy. I'm definitely going to evolve this. And I can use Shady Dealings. And also, now that the stadium is countered, I can use my V-Star power if I would like. Now, there are no bosses' orders in this deck, so that's kind of hilarious. I think I'm going to get... Let's see, let's take a look at the whole deck. I do have a Quick Shooter in there. Okay. Do I have like a scoop up net? I do not. Okay, that's fine. Get these guys, get the buckets. Oh yeah, there's no water in my deck. That's right, okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, none of that. So we just slam the path down. Share and scare. I don't need to use my V-Star power right now, so I'm not going to. There's like nothing in the deck really worth getting. Put that down, big charm down, double turbo energy down, and we're just going to do 200 again. And then with both of these Mew softened up, I mean, we're in a pretty good spot, but I don't have any boss's orders in my deck. This list is only running two, and it would appear as if they are both in the prize cards. So... I have no water energy in my discard pile, so training court would not have net me one. So that's a little bit of a bummer. However, unless Charles attacks with the Meloetta, there's not going to be a way for Charles to be able to kind of dodge me inevitably taking a knockout. And then hopefully if I do take a knockout, then... I'm able to find a boss's orders off my prize cards. With 200 damage on both of the Mews, feels pretty good. Intellion can even finish one off with Aqua Bullets. And considering that Charles is on odd or even prizes, it could be meaningful. Worst case scenario, if I have to KO the Meloetta, with my Intellion, I could do that. It looks like Charles does just have to go up with the Mew and maybe just swing. Could, I mean, gusting and, and KOing like a Sobble or something could be terrible. That doesn't feel good for Charles. I do have another path in my hand. That's my last path, though, because we are only playing three in this list, which is certainly very tough. See what Charles opts to do. I don't think that Charles has a knockout on anything meaningful. Uh, looks like boss's order is going to bring up the Sobble. So this is actually, but can't Psychic Leap. That's like the major feel bad, right? Just going to be a Max Miracle. So then I, I wonder if Charles game plan, but then that would be four boss down, right? Because if Charles wants to, yeah, there's three boss down now. If Charles wants to go... And, like, I don't want to give up this Intellion now, so we're not going to. Going to Ultra Ball away 
this and that. It's fine. Get the other Arceus V star. Use the training courts to get the water back. And we evolve. Put the path down. Do this. Again, there's nothing really good worth getting in my deck, so we're just going to swing with the Starbirth for 200. Hope we find a boss off the prizes. We do find a boss. So then, okay. I don't... Charles could do 310. Yes, if there's... Another Fusion Strike energy. Is there any Fusion Strike energy in the discard pile now? I don't think so, right? That was something that I was not considering. Charles could whip out the... Yeah, could whip up the one-hit KO on Arceus if there is that fourth Fusion Strike energy in the deck. Which would be uh, bad. Charles would also probably have to have a counter to the path, right? So we'll see if Charles has that. He's got the double turbo, so no knockout on my Arceus, which should mean that it's just going to be, yeah, a gust and the cross fusion or the, uh, yeah, the psychic leap, right? So with the psychic leap, Charles will take a knockout. However, Charles now has four bosses orders in the discard pile, and I have two fully loaded Arceus with 310 hit points each. So even if Charles decides to use escape rope, I could just put the other one up. And with this boss's orders, I guess so what's troubling is that the Meloetta could do a ton of damage, but it doesn't matter. Well, it does kind of matter, right? I think we have to gust the Mew and knock it out. Yes. Definitely do that. And then we hope we find, let's see, quick ball away this Arceus. I am worried about the Meloetta, because what if it's just... I mean, 12 cards left in deck, didn't have a counter stadium. What if it's... I don't think that Charles has the access to the other Fusion Strike energy. I think it's prized. But it could be a situation where, you know, if it's Elisa Sparkle... The problem with gusting the Meloetta is that then I could have to deal with the Mew... Right? But it gives me a higher chance of finding boss for game. And if the Meloetta comes up and doesn't take a knockout, then I win. Right? Like, if Meloetta does not have win, I win. So, there we go. So, I think that that was the correct route. But, I mean, you can see, I, I love playing decks with path in them. Because you actually get into, like, a kind of a re interesting resource war at the end of a game and interesting decisions actually get made when your opponent isn't drawing 20 cards a turn. You actually have to like think through the game kind of feels like, you know, feels like old Garbodor games and things like that. And that's it for Arceus V-Star featuring Intellion. Huge thanks to Charles from the Twitch chat for battling me in a best of three with his Mew VMAX deck. It was a great set. Hopefully you enjoyed the games. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. If you're looking to talk Pokemon cards with a great community, make sure to join the Tricky Gym Discord as well. The link will be in the description below. Discord.gg slash Tricky Gym. And y'all have a busted day. Peace.